Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The HLFT-42 is going to be India's next generation lead in fighter trainer which has been the main attraction of Aero India 2023. Designed as a dedicated trainer, the aircraft will enable fighter pilots to hone their skill and make them combat ready for 4th and 5th generation fighter jets of Indian Air Force. It will have virtual training modes capable of simulating any fighter jet of Indian Air Force such as Mirage, Rafale, LC Mark II, AMCA and TED-BF in future. The future requirement of lead-in fighter is going to be huge for Indian Air Force as the indigenous fighter jet such as LC Mark II, AMCA and TED-BF will come as a single-seater variant. They won't have a twin-seater variant to train fighter pilots. Considering this requirement, HLFT-42 has been designed which would be able to simulate all these aircrafts. The pilot's experience of flying HLFT-42 will be similar to that of flying the actual fighter jet be it LCA Mark II, AMCA or TED-BF. That's why the fighter jet has been given the name of Lead In Fighter Trainer and it will be the lead trainer for pilots in 2030s. Now as for the latest tweet from India's top experimental test pilot Group Captain Harsh Vadan Thakur sir, the Hawkeye is going to be the test bed for lead in fighter training systems. Now, India has the world's largest fleet of Hawk MK 132 Advanced Jet Trainer. The platform is used in third or advanced stage of fighter pilot training program before going supersonic. A total of 123 aircraft were on order by Indian Air Force and 17 by Indian Navy, of which 90 are already in service. The Indian Air Force received 24 aircraft directly from BE Systems and remaining jets are built in Bengaluru by HAL under license from BAE. The aircraft has a low wing and all metal structure and is powered by an Adore MK871 turbofan engine. It has excellent flying characteristics with good stability and response to controls about all three axes. The aircraft has maximum speed of 0.85 Mach, service ceiling of 13.53 km. It needs fairly short runways of 664 m for takeoff and 799 m for landing. It has empty weight of 4,440 kg and maximum takeoff weight of 9,100 kg. The trainer jet also has 5 hard points and 2 more can be added on the wingtips. Now the Hawk I is HL's internally funded program to convert Hawk 132 trainer into Combat Hawk. This package includes indigenous data transfer, machine computer, and algorithms which were used in Jaguar Darren 2 and Darren 3 upgrades. The indigenous machine computer has dual redundant configuration. Its additional capabilities include digital map generation, which provides improved situational awareness. The embedded virtual training system offers improved training capability over the existing ones. The Hawkeye also provides secure voice communication and data link capability by integration of softnet radio and pilots can configure and select cockpit human machine interface HMI for different aircraft platforms. The trainer jet has also been integrated with MBDS SRAM short range air to missile 125 kg precision strike saw that is smart anti airfield weapon have a range of 100 km. In future this jet will also be equipped with scaled down version of Uttam AES radar countermeasure dispensing systems electronic warfare suites missile approach warning system etc. So it is quite evident that HL has done significant amount of upgrade and changes to the Hawk platform and many more are coming in years. This will definitely help to develop HL FT-42 and its various systems. However, the design of both aircrafts are completely different. As per our discussion from HL officials during Aero India, the firm is awaiting funding from government to further accelerate the development of HL FT-42. The aircraft Carrying the proof design of Marut has feature of 4.5th edition fighter jets beside being a trainer aircraft. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.